What's up, Smudge fam? My name is Terrell, if this is your first time here. I really appreciate you watching this video. Now, this is gonna be pretty quick. I wanted to do a spread for gratitude. We are in a season where you are going to be asked to show thanks and to really look for gratitude. And this month at Smudge, we're talking all about building gratitude. I really think that Gratitude should be something that we practice more often. I oftentimes find myself falling off of the gratitude wagon. I'm not going to lie about that. But you know, I do notice when I have a gratitude practice that I stick with, things turn around for me, or at least my perspective is different, which allows my reality to be different. <laughs> so I was saying before how three card spreads are really beneficial when wanting to figure things out. I, I love a three card spread for anything, past, present, future, you know, mind, body, spirit. The spread that I'm going to do today is a way to really open us up to where we want to focus more gratitude in. I know that if you are worried about the future, if you're really wanting something to come through and it's not showing up at the time that you thought, it can start to get you to go into all of this space about what's not happening for you, what isn't going right. Gratitude is a beautiful way to calm the nervous system and the more that you focus on looking for things to be grateful for, or the more that you practice reframing, which this spread is going to help you do, the more that you practice reframing, the easier it becomes to talk yourself off the ledge, to master your emotions, to find the solution to a perceived problem. And so the tarot deck that I'm going to use today is the Hermetic Tarot. And what I really love about this deck is the depth and symbolism that I gain from these cards. You'll notice that it just goes a little bit into astrology and I I just feel the, the deeper that I learn, the more that I start to engage with different areas of astrology, of numerology, and even tarot, you know, I am able to engage with my readings a lot differently. I'm able to get a little more clear about the story that's being told or the message that's being revealed here. And these cards are just amazing. So if you have a chance to pick these up, you should definitely do that if you're looking for a new deck. And so what I'm going to do is shuffle this deck and perform a tarot reading on myself. I'm going to do a reading to show you, and you already see these cards really falling out. Um, what I'm going to do is a reading for myself so that you can see how I would interpret the spread. I often find that when I can get a an example, you know, of how uh, a, another tarot reader may read a card or interpret a spread. It helps me figure out what's going to work for me. And so this card is going to be the first card, which is going to go into the middle. And this card represents an area in your life where you may want to focus more gratitude. And the next card is going to go to the left. That's going to be card two. And that card represents where you may be blocked. What might be blocking you from really seeing the reality of, of, of what's going on? Oftentimes, I can get really caught up in a story. I can get caught up in um, and focused on having a scenario show up in my life in a very particular way. And if it doesn't happen like I thought it should or like I want it to, it starts to send me into a spiral and I begin to focus on the negative or maybe the things that aren't showing up. And this is why I think creating a practice of gratitude and, and being able to work on reframing 
your vision helps you see the solution and not the problems. And so the next card and the final card is going to go to the right of the center card. And this card is going to represent what you can do to really drive up the, the gratitude, to really sink your teeth in gratitude, what shifts you can make, right? What, what action you might be able to take to begin to see the situation differently. And so, and just flipping this card over and seeing what it is. Now on this particular spread, I'm probably not going to do any reversals. It's totally up to you if you wanna do a reversal, but for right now, I'm getting judgment. And judgment really is a call to awaken, right? When I see judgment and I see the symbolism and I see these spirits, right? These, these, there's a reawakening happening. There's a rebirthing happening. There's an opportunity to really shift into that new version of you. We, had, we just had a Scorpio new moon and Scorpios are all about transformation. And so in this moment, you know, I, I am being asked, and this is my interpretation, I am being asked to really see my, my transformation, my journey, to see life in, in the calling as, as beneficial. Oftentimes when we're going through a deep change, a deep shift, and we have to let things go or we have to change certain aspects of our personality, of our identity, of our behavior, we can feel like we're losing out. It can feel lonely, it can feel scary, it can feel really confusing. This is where depression kicks in. This is where insecurities kick in. This is where you begin to backslide and perhaps it takes you longer to get where you wanna go. This last judgment, the spirit of primal fire, the action that is being asked of you right now, of me. So I'm being asked right now to just see the shifts, the changes, see my life, see everything happening right now the good and the bad, right? The transitions, the endings and the beginnings. Seeing it, see it, see it as, be grateful for it. And this is the Six of Wands, the Lord of Victory. Now, traditionally, when you see the Six of Wands, this is a knight coming home after a battle, right? And they're, everybody's clamoring around them and, and they, feel, they feel welcome, they feel, they feel appreciated. They, they know that what they've done, what they've just finished, they, they've completed and it's exactly what they needed. Now, I, <laughs> I love this because as I step into my entrepreneurship and I really focus on my own business, remember, uh, this is, a, this is a, a journey of my own. I have to remind myself that this is a journey of my own. I, not everybody's going to see the hard work that I'm putting in. Not everybody's going to tell me, you're doing a great job. But I can't let that diminish the things that are actually coming through for me. I can't let somebody else not seeing my vision. I can't help seemingly being passed up on opportunity get me down. Because again, I can't lose on anything. I can't miss out on anything that isn't meant for me. And so when I see the Lord of Victory, I, I, I'm getting, this, I'm getting this, this idea of, hey, you are looking for the external. You're looking for validation from others. And this is clouding my judgment on what's really going on around me, of what's really working for me, of how my life is. That's, that's deep. So this last card, the Wheel of Fortune, is something, is it, it's advice, right? Advice to take to wake me up to more gratitude. And I, I cannot, I love this, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, Lord of the Forces of Life. Let's get really deep in this. And so 
Whenever I have a client and I'm reading for them and I see the Wheel of Fortune, I always tell them to take their hand off the wheel and allow life to unfold. Allow the cycle of life to happen, the ups and the downs, the endings and the beginnings. Embrace it all. Use it all in the best way possible because this is life and the experience it, the experience of it all is, is the thing that, that is really going to move you forward when you just allow. Let go of the ideas. Of, let go of the, the notion that reality has to bend to your will. Now, I am going to say I believe in manifestation, I believe in creating, and I believe in calling in, but I also know that sometimes we have to allow the universe, we have to allow God to, to bring things to us that we never even knew were possible. And so when I see the Wheel of Fortune, my mantra is, please bring to me all that I desire, all the things that are meant for me in, in my highest good, and, and bring it to me in any way that it needs to come. I, I trust in you. I trust in the universe to, to draw this in. I trust in the powers of source. I trust in my own ability to, to create. And if something is ending, it's not for me to drag it out, to hold on to the narrative. I can gracefully with honor, with peace, with love, I can let it go and I can be open and receptive to the new that's coming through. <laughs> that's a long, that, that, that was a long little mantra, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, just, I, I can let go, I can be free, I can trust that the universe, that God is gonna bring everything to me in its own divine timing. I do not chase, I attract. So I really, really love this. And it's a good reminder that, you know, the universe is always asking you to shift. It's always asking you to change things up because that's how you grow. That's how you grow. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Definitely give it a try and play around with the meanings and just be open, right, to whatever your intuition really is telling you. I guarantee that the more you practice this spread, the more you will be able to really reframe some of the things that are going on in your life. The practice of gratitude is, is really beneficial in so many, so many ways. And so I cannot wait to connect with you more this month as we talk about gratitude. <laughs> Wherever you are, I hope you are just living and loving and I'll connect with you later. Bye.